Good morning. Welcome to my day. So, it is like 9.25, 9.30, and I want to go ahead and get get started. I got to go um, instead of doing a lot of filming. Um, I am going to run to Walmart and pick up a tripod because I have some photographing to do today, and I don't actually have just a regular camera tripod. I think that's going to be really helpful for what I'm trying to do today, and I want to get that photography project done um, as soon as I can because it is going to get incredibly hot today, so we want to do that as early as we can, probably before 11 or so, so that I don't die. That's dramatic. We have a lot to do today, so I'll see you guys in a little bit and tell you more about it. We did it. We got the tripod. You're on it. And I actually, so before, <laughs> before I can take photos of these paintings, I need to finish the paintings. So we have some painting to do this morning. Let me show you what I'm working on. This is a commission. Um, they're not done. Like, I feel like these are still very weird looking. Um, the commission is for two coordinating pelican paintings. Um, so we did kind of a white pelican and a brown pelican. Um, I definitely, I have some adjustments, <laughs> adjustments to make on the kind of shape of these. Um, and then really what the commission is for is for like a full set of additioned prints. So we're going to finish these paintings, take a photograph of them, take photographs of them outside, and then um, prepare that for printing so that I can order limited edition, like I can order prints, um, have them shipped to my house so that I can sign and like addition them um, and number them and everything. Um, and then the order is for those prints. So these are going to be squares. Um, so I kind of, I had a plan whenever I like put the drawing on here, like it's going to take about like two and a half inches off the top and one and a half inches off the bottom. And it's going to be a square, um, composition for the print, but I had these and this was a good size for me to work on for this. So it's like, I'll just, I'll just do the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I have some colored pencil marks on this one where I want to change it, like how um, kind of big his head is and the line of his neck and his like beak and everything. So I'll do some adjustments on this one first. Um, and then we can kind of see how they're looking. I also want to change the background. Um, my client was really interested in like a watercolor type of um, vibe and I don't really do watercolor um, commissions, but I think that I can do like kind of a more of a washy kind of background. I don't think that it, this is there yet. Um, and so we're going to work some in the background and kind of fix up the shape of them. I think it might be nice too to get some better like thick brush strokes into the birds. Um, these are going to be printed really small on like five by five uh, paper. Um, so to just get some like interest, cause it's just going to be like a tiny little picture of a bird if it's just a painting of a bird. So it's like, what can we do to make it more interesting? Like make it look more like a painting. Um, I'm not really sure, but, um, I'll set you up so that you can watch me work on painting these. I am working on the floor today because I have this very large painting that I started that I don't want to move. <laughs> Um, but that's fine. Work on the floor. It'll be easier too since we have two. Like I can kind of move move things around and work between both of them because I have the same color palette going for both of them. So let's work on this for a little bit.
I took a little bit of a break, let the paintings dry, and then spent some time setting up this tripod outside. You can see there's not much to it. We've got a chair, a painting, a tripod, and a camera. Um, I just set this up kind of it worked well angling the camera down a little bit and then angling the painting up and just sitting it on the um that chair i crop down all the way to um like the edge of the image of the painting these aren't like staged photos of these paintings they're photos that can hopefully be turned to prints of the painting so it doesn't really matter what's kind of around um, the painting as long as it's not casting a shadow or anything like that and this positioning actually worked pretty well for that so I did a few test shots, um, I did photos of my pelicans, and then um, I did some of some paintings that I really like that I'm hoping to get some prints of. I wanted to go ahead and order a few prints of my paintings at this, with the same order as these pelican pieces. So yeah, this worked really well. I definitely did get um, images large enough to make 5x5 and 5x7 prints. Um, you can see that it is really bright outside at this time it would be nice to to it'd be nice to do photographs like this on a day whenever it's more overcast and the shadows are not as harsh you won't get as much of like a bright glare on the painting but um i was working on editing these later and just turning down the exposure just a little bit got me a really good color match to the original so i actually feel good about this process and we have not had an odor cast day in san antonio in quite a while and there's not one coming so kind of had to work with what i had here but i think it worked really well Here's just a quick look at the state of my studio at this point. I need to spend some time cleaning, but I thought y'all needed to see it in its full glory, messy state. And now um, we are going to have some speedy, speedy footage of me cleaning my desk. This is 300 times speed. Um, and. Yeah, I'm just cleaning off my desk so that I can spend some time editing those photos. So what I'm doing here is taking those photos off of my camera. I'm going to put them on my computer and transfer them to my external hard drive. That's where I keep like all my video footage and photos and everything just so that it's not sitting on my phone, my camera, my computer. Um, I have it all in one place and I have that pretty organized. Um, so this is going to take me a little bit to get everything transferred. So I'm working on that and then I think I'm just going to sit there and knit to make sure that it's like um, loading everything. So quick little knitting break too. So today is August 1st, um, and I haven't done any summer 
um, like markets, but I'm working on do starting like, you know, some fall ones. Um, I have a market on August 12th, one on August 20th, and one on September 23rd. And the one in September is a much bigger deal. That one, I think there's going to be a lot more people and I want to make sure that I'm really ready and have everything I need and I'm organized and all that for that market in September. So I feel like I'm kind of using these August ones as like practice. They're actually both at breweries. So if you're in San Antonio, um, on August 12th, I will be at Kunstler Brewing. It's going to be on a Saturday evening at Kunstler in Southtown. And then on August 20th is a Sunday afternoon market in Roadmap Brewing downtown. I really like Roadmap and I have like just happened to be there whenever they were doing um, the vendor market and it's nice, it's inside. And I really like their beer, so my partner and I can hang out, have a beer, maybe meet, meet some people and sell some small stuff. That's kind of what I'm going for. And I wanna get a feel at these two August markets for what people like, if I should get like more stickers, more small prints, stuff like that, because this bigger market that I have at the end of September, I think there's potentially going to be really a lot of people there. And if there's something that people really like, you know, order more, I'm thinking like, I got some stickers in recently, and I think that they're too small. So I might bring them and kind of talk to people about it that kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So it's going to be low stress. And both of these August ones were really affordable for me to sign up for. It's like no big deal. And I can kind of get used to, you know, my setup and everything. So that would be great if I could get some prints that they don't have to be for the August 12th market, but just this month, get some prints. Um, but you know, we'll see. Um, let me show y'all the stickers that I got actually because I haven't really showed anyone except for my partner. Okay, I have six different designs. So we have the chrysanthemum. I talked about this in my last video. Um, this was like traced from my sketchbook. Um, and then I used that drawing to make the big chrysanthemum painting and I did make a sticker. So these are all three by three stickers and I feel like some of them are a little small. I think this one's okay um, as a three by three. This one is a print that I made. Um, so it's just the line work and I did it on like a cream background. I really like this one. I think this one's really cute. It definitely feels very small but I think that this works at this size. Um, here's another one that I think works at this size. This one is a lemon. <laughs> and I liked it on the lime green background. Um, and then these two, I think I need to make bigger next time. So this one is some lavender in a little bottle and I really do like this design I think it's really cute but this sticker I, I think is too small since it's so rectangular I think I need to get like a four by two instead of a three by three because really this is like three by one um, so it just feels so much smaller um, than the other ones so these I'm gonna order, these are like samples um, from Sticker Mule is where I've always gotten my stickers from. Um, it's just, I find it really easy to order from them. And um, they do sample packs where you can get 10 for $9. Um, I did get 11 of each of these, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I can do another like sample and do a bigger one of this. I think that will be nice to try. This one is a blue bonnet. And this one I think also could be a little bit bigger for the same reason. It's just like kind of skinny and just doesn't kind of have the same like effect as like the bigger ones. Yeah, so that's my stickers. Um, I'm, I might, 
I don't think I'm going to put these up on my website and my Etsy and stuff right now. Um, I only have 11 of each and I think I want to like make a decision on which ones, like which ones are really good. Um, and then like only list some of them and order more. I'm not for sure, but wanted to show y'all that. I worked on my to-do list and I have a lot of really boring things to do, but one thing that is kind of fun, I am sending out birthday socks to my friends. If you know me personally, or you've looked at a lot of my other videos on this channel, you know that I love making hand knit socks. So I knitted these for friends. I really like to make people socks for their birthdays. And I got really behind um, in like April, May, June, July. Um, so these are socks for my friends who had birthdays in April and May. Um, three pairs. So I'm going to package these up so I can ship it to them. Um, and then I actually have two more pairs for a like couple um, that are like almost done. So I'll do those next time. And something like, I was like, I have to finish all five before I can ship them, but I can definitely just ship these three. So we're going to do that today. That will be really good. And yeah, I thought that'd be fun. Pack them up. Thank you. 